What's up everyone? Welcome back for more Good Vibes video games and Hogwarts Legacy. This will be the third video in a row that I will have recorded in one day. Literally six or seven hours just straight up playing this game because I, I cannot get enough of this. I had the feeling last episode I have only played a little bit, like a little portion of The Witcher 3, but from the little that I did play, I get serious Witcher 3 vibes when I'm playing this. Like, even when you're just sitting and talking to an NPC and you're about to take a quest, just the way they describe the quest, the way you accept the quest, and the way, like, the quests kind of work, especially the side ones, it feels very reminiscent of, like, early Witcher 3. Last episode, though, we came to a huge discovery as well. We finally got to check out the room of requirement and the amount of customization almost made my brain explode. I can't gush about this enough, but I'm gonna spare you guys the gushing. So we're just gonna jump right back into Hogwarts Legacy. This is like the love of my life right now. <laughs> all right, with all that being said, let's jump back in. Maybe let's switch my outfit and appearance. I wanna go back to wearing like normie clothes. So cute, look at that outfit. Some of these are really cool. So you have just like regular day clothes that you can save the appearance of, which is again, super nice. I definitely want to go, but I just love that outfit. I love that outfit for some reason. Um, let's switch this. Oh no, no, no. I mean, this isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. It's, it's a little bit clashy. Clashy or classy? A bit smart assy. I'm gonna stop now. I think I just wanna look like this because I look freaking adorable. Just to have what happened to Bardolph. Okay, let's go. I mean, I'm so cute. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Revelio. Hell no, yo. Oh, get wrecked. Wait, wait. They're guarding a door. <gasps> Geronimo! Man, it, it feels weird. Revelio. See? See? It's like Elden Ring. You have these like random doors everywhere. And you're just like, I want to go in it. But then you can't. Does it at least show up on the map so I can know where to come later? There's got to be... Okay, good. Treasure vault. Yeah, I was going to say. They have to start marking this stuff. Hold on, I want to go... There's more... Oh! Right, yeah, I was just there. Let's... I want to go here really fast. Um... I can't believe that I didn't get this page. Revelio. Or maybe I didn't get it because I can't Wonder go in here yet. It. Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer, but no one knows. Mine. Did I just steal money? <sighs> oh, shit! <sighs> Look at the, my, the, my person's face! <laughs> Why does everything I touch die? <laughs> here, take it. Take it! I don't want to take it! You need to take this game away from me. Revelio. Go sneak up on these things. Oh, easy. Is that 
Oh, oh great. Awesome. That must be Bardolf. I you're saying something about Bardolf? That's great. Of the dead. Ooh. Anything else we need around here? Oh, 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 some Inferius were playing, um... What's up with that? Yeah. I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so we must Vermont's be done. Loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Okay, oh, so, yeah, so we finished the quest. You can help over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I believe I have some news of your brother. Madame Beaumont? I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? He decided to pursue a new life. I'm afraid he said- So he must have died down there. I don't remember seeing his body because I was too busy killing all the Inferius, but- I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius. And I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> What more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Oh, that's so sad. Bardolf, keeper. my dear, dear brother. She's got another side I couldn't quest. help it over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Yeah, Ranrock and so his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. I'll take him out. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. <gasps> if only I could somehow rid our Hamlet of these monsters. Simply at my wit's end. I could... I could run them out. Let's do it. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. <sighs> Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them. I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. Say no more. We should not have to live in fear. This is our Yes. Home. Go kick some butt. Seems as though things are getting worse. Let's be on my guard. Can just try to be sneaky? Let's see how far I can get with this. You can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down, but eat light, and you'll be swift. <laughs> but who wants to be swift? Hmm. Nobody. Someone's here. Yeah, I'm not always good with that. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, nice! I did not get that. I love that you can throw their stuff at them now. Get wrecked! Amazing. 
Who's this last guy? Oh. Yeah, come here. I think Accio is a good one to have. One camp down. One more to go. Oh yeah. Rebellion. All right, where's this next encampment? Oh, this way. I'm forever dying, are we? Oh, here they are. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, I think I've been to this one. I think. Wouldn't well, mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Lucas, don't tell us. Oh, this is gonna be an easy one. One less human to worry about. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're the. Oh, maybe not dead. How nice of you to stop by. Boom! Done. I don't have time for this. Ah, shoot! That was really close. Did you just say stop it? Nice. Too close, though. Oh shoot! Oh no! Got him. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to Both do yet with cleared. all my Madame Beaumont spells. will be glad to hear that. I like Rebellion. to do I like to do a lot of damage, but Levioso really does help in combat, at least. I don't know what I want to use. Maybe Depulso's better as like. I don't, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? We'll play around with it. I remember you. Hello. I should have done more. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. Just you me. You cleared them out. All by huh? myself. It was difficult. I just surprised them. I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. <laughs> I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. Yep. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? Thank Let's you for passing There's another side quest here we could do. It's in a chest. Well. Oh. Is it. Um. It looks like it might be a treasure map. Hmm. Map? I wonder where it leads. Here's the map with floating candles to find the treasure. Well. Pavelio. I think I can get. Can I get in here? Yes, I can. I want this. Just taking all of their stuff. No big deal. So we got another treasure map. Wait, well, like, can I look at the treasure map? Well, we gotta go to an inventory. We got this map with floating hidden treasure map found in an. Or's Hamlet. This does not. This does not give it away. I got no ideas. So maybe this is like for this specific Hamlet, judging by this. So. Okay. So I gotta use Lumos by. Hold on, what did the hint say? Floating candles to find. Lumos. Hmm. 
I can't even imagine where to start with this, so we're probably gonna revisit this at another time. So let's see. Ghost of our love. Oh, oh, that's what we're what we're currently doing. Follow the butterflies. Conjuration spellcraft. So this one is inquire and use an, an invisibility potion, which I think I already have one. Um, inquire, acquire and use a thunder brew potion against enemies. So let's do this. Meet Sebastian. Let's go. Let's go chat with Sebastian. It has been a minute. I'm just gonna fast travel to the castle. Off on another adventure, are we? You have no idea. I'm the most fashionable one in this school, I think. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, I gotta wait for him. I'm just gonna sleep here on the floor. Oh, hi. Over here. <laughs> Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took <laughs> a fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. What is this place? This way. Okay, I'm following you. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I knew this had something to do with something. I had a feeling. What is this though? I was like, it's just, it stands out. There's no way. How did you find this place? Uh, My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf stones all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't sister give to she... lose to her again. And? I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. Wait, you say his sister's name was also Anne? Kind of like the, the lady who was sent to Azkaban who we spoke to earlier? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? Ominous. I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is yes. that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Oh. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. The Blasting Curse? It, that's ridiculous. A that's proper ridiculous. magical education ought to include all magic. True. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Yay. 
Another spell already. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. Very well. Done. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yep. Stick to the target. Dude, I don't know what to... Oh, I just thought, I just had a thought because I had been kind of confused as to what, what I wanted to do, like with having certain spells and like my wheels and stuff, but I really should have one of like every color on each wheel and then just switch around the wheels because I forgot about the blast, like the circles um, or the, the orbs that people put around them. So, I'm wondering then, maybe I should do this. And then still keep this Accio. And then is there like another color one that I should do? Or rather, rather do this and then do this and then have Accio for that one. So I, I feel like I can put Accio on more than just one wheel too. So, um, let's do... I like the, having the attack spells like up and below. And then... Hmm. I think I'm onto something now. Hmm. I never really thought about this before. So maybe like Best each... to keep the undercroft intact. Expelliarmus! Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Wait, did I not equip the right one? Oh, whoopsie. Whoops. Confringo. Nice work. How's it cool. feel? Love it's it. It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. It's a tad hot. So this in Expelliarmus is going to be like super OP. Um, I think I kind of want to switch this and do... In so we have like Confringo, which is kind of fiery, right? And then we have Expelliarmus, but let's do that. And then we can have Expelliarmus for this top one, for my other wheel. So this can be my main fighting wheel, and then this can be my, I don't know, side stuff wheel. I don't know. Incendio! Oh, whoops. Confringo. That's it. Fringo. I think I've got it. Well done. By George, I think I've got it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. <laughs> the first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I too I love playing with fire. That. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to, yes. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You oh. said something <laughs> was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I do. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Exactly. Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. 
Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. I well, so. when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Okay, sounds good. When I, I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Leave the Undercroft. <gasps> this place is cool. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Your friend. Sebastian. Actually, Sebastian brought me there. We're best friends now. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, oh, and God. I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. My father will hear about this. Oh, not another one of these guys. Yeah. He sucks. I probably, I promise not to say anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. He got me. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Maybe he does care about his friend, but... Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. You're a turd. You're a, you're a butt. Wow, you're so rude. Okay, what is this? Avelia. Is there a, oh, there's a side quest. Oh. Uh, you know I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small we uh, are a project. Family. We do not support Puddlemere United. If I find one more of their mementos on your wall, you'll be on the first train home to take it down. <laughs> Oh my god, we just saw a howler and there he goes. That there was that. Yep, magically apparated, obviously makes sense in the, you know, for <laughs> makes sense for where we are, but that is exactly another point what I'm talking Spare about. I love like I the little little things, little details. Somebody getting yelled at by a howler. That was amazing. I would like to teach Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Oh. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, yes. do see me after class. Yes. Uh, okay, let's talk to this dude. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hello. Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Duncan. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Why, thank you. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. Okay. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. The... the adorable little puff balls? Are you afraid of your own shadow too? That's a harsh. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna need a doctor after that one. Alright, um. 
Yeah, they can. What's to be scared of? They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Yeah. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> that's a good... I don't want to say that's a good one, but that's actually funny. That's unkind. That's actually funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, <gasps> oh. to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor? What? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. Let's go. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Without you Say actually going in. Say a bit of in. an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Yeah. Okay. What should I expect, What though? sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? Yes. If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Yeah, I'd say. I'll see what I can do. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Sure you will. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Yeah, yes, you will be. Okay. So there's something I want to do. So I'm going to go to the Room of Requirement. I really want to craft one of those other potions that we need for potions. Hidden Herbology Class. Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It starts with a T. It's just like thunder or something. Thunder. Thunder brew. I don't have a shrivel fig. Lovely. Okay. Let's go find the Hidden Herbology Corridor. <laughs> I just love that. That's, that's the greatest thing to be able to see once you walk out of the room of requirement every time. But I was trying to kill two birds with one stone by crafting one of the thunder brews and then being able to use it maybe on one of these plants so then I could do the potions thing next. But I don't have what I need. Oh, damn. This is outside? Revelia. Thought I heard a ding, but I did not. Oh, how cool is that? Which makes me wonder... How... How old is the Whomping Willow? How old is the Whomping Willow? Because I wonder if it's been around since, like, this time. I can't remember exactly how old that tree is. Revenia. Oh, hello. I can't believe we're still finding these pages in the freaking castle. Glum bubbles were magical flying insects that produce a treacle, which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nests in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. Did I leave anything else back here at all? I don't think I did. Revelia. I just think that is so neat. That dragon bush. Oop. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting. Oh. I would have never thought to come down. If, unless this is the same way we need to go. In order to get to the boathouse. What's this though? Use. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Huh. Why can't I use that right now? Revelia. Unless it's something you can't use at night. Oh. Incendio! Incendio! Doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a while. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare. 
seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Or could we use Lumos? Would that be more effective? Lumos. Ah, that could have worked too. Okay. Didn't think of that before. Revelio. Hold on, I want to go see what's up here. Lumos. Oh, I bet you we could also. Nope, um. Confringo! Confringo! Ah, so you can use this to light fires far away. That's so neat. They literally thought of everything. That is so impressive. Confringo! Confringo! Lumos. It's Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Ha. That is so cool. Confringo. Yeah, switching between the wheels is going to take me a bit, I think. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Move. Rebellion. Ah. Well, now it's mine. Nothing here. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Ah! <laughs> wow. Wow. Am I gonna have to kill that thing? It's gonna kill me? Oh, okay, maybe that worked. I'm gonna take that money. I don't think we need to be concealed here. Um, Revelio. anything else? Let's turn on all the lights. Confringo. I'm trying. Okay. I don't care anymore. <laughs> okay, let's leave. Makes sense that we come up here. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's fine. Revelio. Maybe. Maybe I can find whatever I uh what did I need? Like a bulb of some kind? Ooh, unidentified hand item. So I must need to go identify that with my thingy? My my desk in the room of requirement, maybe? Revelio. I wonder. I wonder if I can find one of those bulb things to make the thunder brew in here. What's the reason for these additional assignments, Professor? Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? Professor? What made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. <laughs> well, he never cared. But really cared for the plants and they could sense it oh. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be at any rate the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree 
Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. A terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. <laughs> and that's when you took over as the herbology professor. Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Oh. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. Yeah, I'd say. That's almost comical. I want to say it's funny. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well... I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. I would too. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, well his resulting see. leave of absence continues to this day. Glad things worked out as they did. I feel sorry for the former professor. I had no idea. How awful. Last I heard, he'd gone to Romania. As rumor would have it, he developed a sudden interest in <laughs> dragons. Like someone One else we know. only hope he found more happiness working with them than he did with Flora. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. I will. She's definitely my favorite. Have Every you found time. anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Wow. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Happy to help. Take it. <laughs> of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Duncan for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. <laughs> this will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again. Yeah, and have a sure. good day. That'll show. Sure. I know I will. I hope we made Thank your you for day. Thank all of your help. No more puff skein dunking for me. Puff skein dunking. I love when the options are like, actually, no, I'm not gonna give this to you. <laughs> Ooh, let's level up. Talents. Ooh, what do we do? What do we do? About this one. Perf oh. Um. New spell set is added. Since we're getting more spells, maybe this will be useful. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's just so much customization with that. Um, actually, let's see here. Cursed, wait, what is this one? Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. That might actually be useful. Let's see spells really fast. Casting Depulso releases an additional blast directly around you. Confringo impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Yes, please. Okay. Let's look at the quest right now. Let's see what we can do next. The map chamber. Report to Professor Fig. Um, what do we... It's Tentacula. Use a venomous tentacula. Require and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. How am I going to grow one of those? I wonder if I have to do it in the arbology lab. Okay, let's go talk to Professor Fig. Yep, we're always showing up at all hours of the day. <laughs> Except for when he's actually in his office. I oh! was hoping to see you. Whoa, weird. Okay. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well... She took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Yeah. Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died, so I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is 
Richard Jackdaw. He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? Shall we I was hoping you'd say that. Yes. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. I kind of totally forgot because we went on so many different detours. I forgot like about the book and everything. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. Yeah. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. So we did have to go do that thing with Sebastian, so that also Intrepid threw me off a bit. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Intrepid travelers. To think it was beneath us all this time. Where'd he go? This looks promising. It is a giant pensive, isn't it? I'm getting chills. It looks like the stars. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Here to see this. Oh. Rackham. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you yes. must complete on your own. Give it to Do me. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do. I don't recall it fully, but... I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key okay. and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. Why? So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. 
They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces... traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do, yes. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Cool. Shall we have a look? Yeah. I know that tower. It's not far. The Owlery? You may have seen it yourself. I believe I have. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Oh, I will. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. Never I've mind. passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. Never mind. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. All right. I'll, I'll see find you, you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay. The map chamber. Okay, so we could either go right to the right to Fig at the tower, or we can do some more side stuff. I am in favor of side things. I want to see if maybe I can do some of the the homework quests. I oh my god, where am I gonna find a mandrake? So, sheesh. Um. I have an invisibility potion. Maybe I could stop at Hogsmeade and go buy that bulb thing that I need for for the Thunderbrew, because I don't know where else to find those. Um, hmm. Could also do the flight test and just get that over and done with. I don't know. <laughs> Use the map of the floating candles to find the treasure. I don't even know where to start for that, so I think I'm going to keep putting that off for now. Um... What is achievable right now? Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. And... Yeah, I need to figure out... Maybe I can go back to the arbology room to get a mandrake. So I'm going to try to do that. There we go. Spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see I want to... What if I want to make something else? Mellow Sweet? Mandrake! Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's do this. Dogweed and death cap. Damn it! <laughs> Dogweed, death cap, and damn it. Um, so we need to go to... I think we need to make a trip to Hogsmeade. Looks like it. Maybe I can also change my hair, too. So, yes, we need to go to... Purchase from the Magic Neep. Okay, so it's not just that one. There's the Magic Neep, and then there's Dogweed and Deathcap. So maybe I should go through all of the vendors at Hogsmeade right now and go buy everything that I need so that I don't have to come to this problem later. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now that I have, I think, what I need, um, I hope, let's do figure out some of these. Wow, and then there's more assignments. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. Pop balloons around the Quidditch pitch. What? 
With pop with what? The basic spell? Um, acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire use a on multiple enemies simultaneously. Maybe we can do... Let's do this, and then I can also... Use a mandrake on multiple enemies, maybe. Let's try that. Um... So where's our man- don't we have a mandrake on us? Uh... Alright, let's try... Let's try doing that. What are those? Oh, spider sacks? There they are! She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsea might get an answer about these butterflies. So there's enemies there. No, too hard. What are you, a gobstone? What are you, a gobstone? Master of expel your armors, haven't you? Ha ha ha, there we go. That's cool. I want to try a chopping cabbage now. Where you going, dude? <laughs> Nowhere. So, and then I think the last thing to do... Maybe I should, uh, wait until I can actually use it on something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out, watch out. Oh, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, that's this is what I wanted to do. I want to use this venomous... Thingy on these dudes. Can I just like throw it at them? Assignment's all finished. Done. Ha! Get wrecked. So I finally used one of those, so it looks like it it'll eat them if they get too close. Me! Oh, I don't have like a Your poaching days are over. Oh no, I do have. I was like, where did my purple spell go? But there it Rebellion. is. It's mine. What else do we have here? Find out where the butterflies are going. Where's this other guy talking from? Oh, there they are. You got your doggo with ya, huh? Sure. Sorry. Okay. Defeat mongrels. Um. We got a little bit distracted. Well, we we killed two birds with one stone. That's kind of what I also wanted to come out here for, but. Now let's go find those butterflies. Rebellion. No, dear, no, what are you doing? No! You shouldn't be allowed to associate with the rest of us decent folk. What a I jerk. Imagine how embarrassing it must be to have a squib for a child. That's so mean. Oh, here's... Here they are. Here. So there's butterflies up here. Oh, wow. Look what we have here. Hey, we did it! Cool. Um... 
Are there more or Oh, so now we need to return. Avelia. Yeah, I I think I just want to get out of here. So let's take the broom. I love that we can just hop on our broom and just go whenever the heck we want. Ooh, wait a second. While we're here, we might as well do this. Here's a pleasant surprise. But, of course, there's always, like, one that is really hard to see. Lumos. There's one. Leviosa. Where'd it go? Fringo. Okay, I'm getting better a little bit. I'm, I'm already getting better at the switching. Lumos. Okay, so there's this one. Oh, and the other one's like right here. Thank goodness. That's easy. Cool. Yay, that was a good one. Yay! All right. Wow, yep, we did so much while we were out here. I want to look at our quest log really fast because I know we did the one for 10 herbology during the day. Cool, so we can do that. Maybe we can also knock out another one. Um, since we have to go back to all the butterflies, I think she's in Hogsmeade. So maybe I can also do pop balloons around over Hogsmeade Station? Where the heck is Hogsmeade Station at? Okay, anyway. Let's go return this quest. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. I do. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? I did. Yes, and I was well rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. <laughs> Aww. That was nice. Flower box. Complete side relation. Woo! We only need one more. Only one more. So where is... Where the heck is Hogsmeade Station? And what balloons is she talking about? I can't get my broomstick here. Maybe I can look at the, at the map? Because I can't... Hogsmeade Station. Where the heck is Hogsmeade Station? Okay, we need to go to Garlic's class. And then I need to use an invisibility invis potion. And... Oh, I need to use a Thunderbrew potion against enemies. Okay. I should have tried that too. Thunderbrew potion and invisibility potion. But I, that's easy. I can pop that. No problem. Um, then let's do Percival Rackham's trial. So let's try to get into some trouble. I want to go do this. Try to also get into some trouble so I can use my Thunderbrew potion. And then we'll do that. I have to wonder if the Hogsmeade station is the station for the railroad. That's what I think. But I couldn't tell you right now where it is. I'm really not sure. So I have to run into- do I have to run into this? Yup! I guess that's exactly what I have to do. Well, that's gonna be easy. Um, I need five over the Quidditch pitch. But where is, where is Hogsmeade Station? Noise. Where is, isn't there a fifth one? Where's the fifth one? Ah! Hey you, Hufflepuff. Psh. It's Miranda to you. 
Imelda. Imelda Reyes? Albi Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. How dare he? Why is he helping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Uh, you sound jealous? Seen someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? <laughs> Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Yeah. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. It'll Slytherin be... Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. My absolute pleasure destroying you. I'm gonna bumblingly backhand you in about two seconds. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. 100%. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Yeah, see you later. This is rather fun. Yeah, I like it. All right, look at me winning, having fun. Oh shit. Well, um we can just miss that. It's fine. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, maybe this is harder than I thought. Excellent. Shit. They're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Holy f Oh no! I'm still gonna beat her! I'm still gonna beat her. Success! This music is great though, at least we got good tunes. I'm gonna beat her. I'm gonna beat her. I'm gonna beat her. Oh I think I found Hogsmeade Station that just that just answered my question. <laughs> Did it. So gonna win this. The second penalty on missing a ring. You're kidding. We got it. Brilliant. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Made so it. got less than. Okay, we got less than a minute. Brilliant. Boom. Kiss my butt cheek right there. Right or left, your choice. I'm done. Now are we gonna duel? Let's duel it out. Let's duel. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ugh. I missed Fine. a ring in everything. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. <sighs> you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your- I so badly want to say that, but I won't. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But Ooh. don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Um. Okay, cool. So there's another one. So I, I had that quest where I had to pop some balloons over the Quidditch pitch. So I just need, I need one more. And then now that I know where Hogsmeade Station is, I can go, I can go do that really fast. I suspect. I never thought someone would. I beat her. <laughs> so we got one balloon. Two balloon. Three. Oh, there we go. There's all of them. 
four, and then five. And I don't actually think I've ever been over Brilliant. here Revelia. at Hogsmeade Station before. Hey, look at this. Yeah, I have not been here yet. Uh, oh my gosh, how cool. Oh. Oh my goodness. Hogsmeade Station ticket office. The station has stood here since the early 1800s when the Minister for Magic, Adeline Gamble, acquired a steam engine train to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight, just after the train did. The operation involved using a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment charm ever performed in Britain. I, I assume to, like, cover this, basically this entire valley where Hogwarts sits and, um, Hogsmeade... Like, all of those. All these wizard communities. Rebellion. How flipping cool. If there's anything around here. Hello! Yeah, I def- Oh, there's a Merlin trial over there that we can do. There's a billion and one things around here that we can do as well. So, I want to go search... Hogsmeade Station really fast. I'm sure there's some other things around here. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. Pavelia. Thank you for the opportunity, ever so. Come on then, what you got? Come on then. It's Why a... is it moving? What, I bet- Your bag, it's wriggling. What you got in there? Not rat sire. No, it's a Niffler! Oh, but a I Niffler, want I want it! He's sharp. Give Stole me. from me, he did. He was robbed by a Niffler. I, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural, worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. Uh, uh, I must You're have... wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your... You little rat scratch me. me. Oh, you can't even keep oh, hold of a where rat. are you? If I he's ever catch a rat. rat, it's dead. You hear me? Dead. Uh, Get out of here. He's not a rat. It's not a rat. It's not a rat, though. Rebellion. Love that one. That was funny. Um, I wonder if I think Newt's commander is after this time, correct? Ha. Magical hopscotch. Look at that. I'm seriously shocked that I think that's it. I I really don't think that there's any other pages. I'm surprised. Mmm. Okay, so that's gonna be part of this Merlin trial. Rebellia. Definitely, let's do Could it. Could it be a Merlin trial? Gonna need Incendio. Or maybe I can use Confringo now. Confringo! Absolutely. Oh, you know what? I saw that. So that was way closer to the ground. So I think that one's gonna have to be the last one to be lit. So I think it's gonna have to go this. 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 And then while that's, those are both going down to this one. Boom. That's that. Settled. Love it. How many more of these do we need to get a new storage upgrade? Amazing. That was great. Okay. Um, so let's go turn in this quest to Albi. Oh, oh wow. I think this one, we know how to do this one. This is just Levioso, I believe. Levioso. There's so many of these orbs there. Confringo. Oh, oh, you just need to destroy them. more of these. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Oh, there's Confringo. Yes! Uh, these are really fun. These are really, really fun to do. Merlin, I'm coming for you. I don't think Excuse anyone me. You're back with something to report, I hope. Yes. Oh, nice quaffle. I was able to set a record on the broom. 
Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? Yeah. A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. <laughs> I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <laughs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Um, who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. <laughs> I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. <laughs> and where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. True. I don't listen to him. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Just oh. stopping by. Hope You're to welcome. see you again. Likewise. So now that we have both, let me see my quests really fast. Now we have some of these assignments that are done, so we can return to her. We can return to Garlic. And now all I need to do is find some enemies, use a Thunderbrew potion on them, and then. I will be, oh, and then I could just pop an invisibility potion, call it a day, and we can talk to Sharp again. So, I kind of want to go get into some trouble. Where can I go get into some trouble? A hippogriff. Oh, oh my gosh, I've never seen a dragon on the map before. That's really cool. I want to go get into some trouble really fast. Where can I do that? Small bandit camp. Let's go there. I feel like that'll be a good place for some trouble. Oh, wait a second. I didn't have to look too far, huh? Think you're clever, cut. This is almost too easy. Woo! You think so? Fringo! Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The beast. So then I have another invisibility thing, right? <gasps> no! I don't have any more? Oh, I thought that was going to be so easy. I was like, oh, no problem. I have one. I must have accidentally given it to that woman. Damn. Okay. Revelio. I was this close. I was this close. Plows. Wow. approaching. There's enough. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Horrible. You you Bye. You dead. Shall we do this while we're here? I know a Merlin trial when I see one. <laughs> Let's do another one. Looks like it's. Hmm. Which kind? What kind of puzzle is this one? Confringo. Oh, yeah. Was not sure what to do with that at all. I've gotta destroy them. Rebellion. Ah. Confringo. Rebellion. Ah, oh, there's Confringo. another. Confringo. That's it. That's, that's all we had to do. That's awesome. Okay. I love checking things off the map. That's fun. Um. Well, damn. Now I was I was really hoping that I would be able to just pop that invisibility potion and call it a day. I just hope well, I can afford it. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Oh, Save me a lot of time and trouble. I have I'm one gold. One gold off. I do not want these, so I'm gonna sell this for that one gold that I need. I hope to see you again. Oh, no, no, Farewell I'm not. for now. 
not done. It's okay, so let's do this. Oh, Purchase one. Decision. Just Thank to you. use it. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm just gonna say it, screw it. I'm just gonna use it. There we go. Um, so now I'm just gonna fast travel back to the castle. So we can now attend class. Let me open. Huh, I wonder what if what will work on this. Nope. Still I'm trying. What else could potentially Huh. Let's try this. What else could we possibly use? Um, those are the only ones I can think of. Expelliarmus! Levioso! Depulso! Oh! Okay! Okay! It's a Depulso puzzle! Elf made ivory gloves. Revelio. I'm already gonna love them. Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would ya? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. Ah. Lumos. Um, what? Where is this? Have I seen this door before? Where have I seen this? Oh, it looks like it might be this one. It totally looks like it's this door. Ah! I knew it! Oh my gosh, that just made me so happy! Holy heckin' yeah. Boom! Let's go. Finally figured that door out. That was bothering me for the longest time. <laughs> da, da. Okay, now let's go to potions class. Uh, move. <laughs> okay. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, I have. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Mmm, I like that saying. I'm gonna steal that. This is the only time I'm willing to do homework, frankly. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Defindo. Wand at the ready. Oh, I'm ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Ooh. This spell looks evil, Defindo. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Sure, sounds good. Yup. Let's try. Uh, no. What did I have there? Was it that? It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Oh my gosh. That is some serious. So, okay, so we have Levioso, Accio, um, Incendio, and Confringo. And then we have Levioso, Accio, Expelliarmus, and Defindo. So I'm gonna need, oh, I'm gonna need to open up a new, like, thing. I I'm gonna see if I can go into my talents. And up I don't have anything to upgrade. I'm almost close to level 24 though. Next up though, let's go chat with Let's go chat with um I think it was Garlic? Professor Garlic. Yep. Alright, let's go talk with her. Defendo, that's I'm gonna be scary. It 
it's so cool to look at me. Like, that's me. Wonderful to see you again. Hmm. Dittany. So now I need to talk to her. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Yes. Wildardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Wingardium Leviosa. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Cool. This might help me get into that keep. Yes. What can I practice on? Can levitate, move objects, control its position with your movement, and use to fine tune its distance and rotation. Okay. Let's try well it out. Done. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try it really fast. Let's switch it out for this one for now. It's like so now is that just like a simple during combat type thing where this is to so I'm I'm assuming then blue is like to shield you to use things like to do things with the environment. <laughs> oh hello! Wow. Sweet. Sweet. That is awesome. Okay, that just made me super happy. Okay, what's the next one? There is one more. Ah, right. Glacius. Oh, the freezing spell? Alright, last one. I realize I'm probably breaking the school dress code by like not wearing a robe, but I also don't care. <laughs> I don't think I've been up this way before. How did you get on with those tasks? Oh, very well. I completed everything. Ooh. Dear Madame Kagawa, marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at hogwarts as our new flying instructor i dare i dare say our work together at hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near yokohama harbor though one never knows i shall look forward to seeing you soon if you have any questions in the meantime please do not hesitate to send me an owl warm regards matilda weasley you never really hear from phineas black at all the headmaster like he's not sending anyone any nice letters dear madam I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor. Imelda Rays. She seemed to not include that I beat her. Okay. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became Wonderful. more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Glacius. DLC? Pay attention to your Quidditch? wand work. Please. Ooh. 
Cool. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Sounds like a good idea. So it also looks like the yellow ones kind of like constrict people's movements. Stop them from moving for a moment. Um, so you can attack them. All right, let's switch that out for... Places. There you go. Catch them quickly. That is cool. That is really cool. Wow. Yeah, so they're, they're considered like control spells. So these are control spells. These are force spells. Damage spells. Utility spells. And then Transfiguration and Unforgivable Curses. So interesting. I feel like, yeah, so you can either have, like, damage or cursing on you. Um, and then I feel like Transfiguration, you can just kind of, like, only really use that if you're in the, in, in the Room of Requirement. Like, other than that, you probably don't need to have that on your wheel. These you could probably have on your own separate wheel if you need to use a specific utility for any reason, just walking around the world. And then the other two wheels, if you use those as like an attack, you know, just typical spells, probably want to keep one of every color. So a yellow, purple, and a red, just in case people, you know, enemies will pop up those, those bubbles around them. So that's just really, really awesome. We have how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to unlock completely. And then we're done with all the spells. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. You can probably tell that I have a serious obsession with this game. I literally can't get enough of it. It is making my nerd radar go nuts. Every little thing reminds me of all of my favorite things from the Harry Potter world, but I am definitely Hogwarts legacy out for the day. <laughs> I need to go like rest and go get some food and just replenish all this energy. But this game brings me so much joy. That's really all I can say about this. That is probably my final review of this because going forward, I don't think my feelings are going to change on this game at all. It just brings me complete, total happiness, pure joy. And I really hope, really, really hope that people that are playing it see what I see in this game. It is just a beautiful work of art. This is exactly what I wanted out of a game and I just can't get enough of it. If you guys are looking forward to the next episode, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button on the channel to get notified. Also, while you're here, make sure to check out all the links down below in the description. I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and I'll see you next time.